This week, we are in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's beautiful. It's so nice being by the beach. Yes, palm trees. I love seeing palm Sun. trees. Sun, sea, oh, sea. <laughs> fun. And sun. Bunch of <laughs> cool words. Today we are at the USS Lexington, which is docked in Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, we're staying on the flight deck right now. Um, this is not just a tour for us. We have ties to this to this ship. Family ties. My father, who served in the Navy for a few years, was stationed on the USS Lexington uh, when they were based out of Pensacola. And uh, so, uh, I think it was 77 to 79, he said, that he was here. And he worked on the in the forward engine room. And luckily for us, it's now decommissioned and it's ported, yeah. uh, docked here in, in Corpus Christi. So we'll be able to, to take you along and show you all the cool stuff inside the USS Lexington. Here we go. Okay. My dad was stationed on the Lexington from 77 to 79 ish. So one of these dudes, <laughs> one of these dudes was, well, probably both these dudes at some point. Yeah. Um, Captain Eugene McDaniel was May 77 to November 78. And P.E. Johnson was November 78 to June of 80. So probably at some point, both of these dudes, uh, well, both these captains, I don't mm -hmm. think they would like you to call them dudes, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> but they commanded the ship when my dad was stationed here so that's pretty cool right now we're in the captain's what is it called vip captain's in port cabin in port cabin where like the important people hung out you can see them having a fancy meal back there but there's all these pictures on the wall are the famous people who have visited down here including mm -hmm. both the bushes yeah. w and hw <laughs> both have been here uh -huh. before who else dick cheney um, um, who else is really famous that people will know about? Charleston Heston. Yeah, Charleston Heston. Um, um, Barbara Mandrell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kenny Bernstein. Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Mm. Uh, who's back here? Hey, come back here. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Uh, Ronnie Millsap was here. <laughs> hi. Oh, Welcome hi. to my in port cabin. Well, hello. We're just sitting down for dinner. Just interrupted our captain. <laughs> I don't get this very much time down here. Now, my dad says <laughs> that. Everybody has to peel potatoes their first couple months on board. Okay. I don't know if it's if it was that's what they told if him. That's what he told me, <laughs> or if he was just in trouble all the time. We had to peel potatoes because that's that would, sounds like more like a Wagner thing. Very Wagnerish. Yeah. But anyway, he spent three months peeling potatoes, and this was the area where they washed and uh, did all the vegetables. You can see the bags of potatoes down there. So um, when my dad was on board. He probably spent a few months in this area <laughs> peeling potatoes. <laughs> This is the aft engine room. Um, so I guess this is the one that they have on display. But my dad would have worked at a, a station just like this in the forward engine station. And so standing here for hours and hours, um, my dad did stand in this area and he said that these pipes over, over your head kicking out um, heat 
and you're standing here having to watch all your gauges and work the throttle. So, thank you for your service, Dad. <laughs> you're going through all that crap to steer the ship. <laughs> It took us three hours. Yeah, just to, to about three it. hours to um, do the whole deal. So make sure you have enough time if you're going to come do it. Yeah. And we absolutely did not get to show you everything because no. uh, there's just way too much. Lots of other stuff to read and look at and yeah. like uh, different exhibits inside there that we didn't even touch on in the video. So the video is just kind of like a, like a trailer to what you'll see if you actually come here and see it. <laughs> We're just getting started in Corpus Christi. We're going to do a whole lot more stuff. Yeah. So don't go away yet. We are so excited <laughs> about where we are right now. We are with the Time Bandit RV Travels, Carl. And um, this is the first time we've ever been in a schoolie. Yeah. We've seen these things on YouTube. We've seen these things online. But we've never seen one that's been, been built. Here. So Carl's going to take us through his, which is the coolest one we've ever seen so far. Because <laughs> we've never yeah, seen one so far. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it easy. But anyway, uh, take us through, Carl. Show us what some of the stuff that you did. Okay. First off, we we'll start here with the electrical cabinet. Okay. Um, it's an Ames 2500 watt okay. converter. We have four of the golf cart batteries. battery, the Trojan golf cart batteries. Okay. Uh, 12 volt um, box, or 110 box, 12 box. That switch there cuts off for the, the alternator to the engine. Okay. You know, when you're going down the road, it charges. And you wired all this yourself, yes, did everything yeah. yourself. A lot of YouTube. Yeah, watching. I imagine. <laughs> I am digging every part of this, man. This so has this got is like a... the beachy, like tiki <laughs> stuff. The floors are just awesome. Yeah, those are it's a the slatted, you know, bouton like bouton. Yeah. Yeah. Them have and slides out, makes it into a bed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Then uh, the regular uh, 10 cube fridge, just an electrical fridge. Um, under here is the uh, uh, hot water, the uh, tankless hot tankless? water heater. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh. And uh, butcher block butcher block countertop, block. which a buddy of mine back home made for me. I love and, this. Yeah. This is like so functional, and it. Yeah. You can't even tell this is a school bus. You got the slide. Yeah. Yeah. That's I like nice. these things. Wife That's had cool. these in the house, and I was like, oh, I got to have these. Yeah. The yeah. Man, they're just, they're just too easy. Yeah. And wow. then uh, here we got a four burner. Oh wow. Stove top. That's cool. Okay. You know, then uh, microwave, oven, uh, the table, the cedar table. Um, I made with uh, slats from the uh, local, it. yeah, local oh, sawmill. Wow. Right? wow. I did the backsplash in cedar, and that little square box that sits on top of the fridge is also made out of cedar. This guy. Um, the cushions lift up. There's storage underneath, mm -hmm. just like you know, regular like RVs. Do, yeah. Right. And then uh, everybody kind of likes the horse trough bathtub. That is so cool. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, with the old time fixture yeah. on it. That is cool. It's got the curtain that goes around for privacy. And then uh, we got the 20,000 BTU heater. Okay. Keeps you warm. Oh, wow. Pan for the summertime. Yeah. And then this is the uh, pantry. Oh, the pantry. All the uh, nice. canned goods and stuff. A lot of these things you got to put. Like so? Yeah. You know, so they don't bounce around. Great fine. use of space. Yeah. We got a queen size bed. Awesome. Um, 246 gallon water tanks. I have 92 gallons of fresh water. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, vessel sink. Uh, all my water filters are under here. Oh, okay. Um, 12 volt pumps under the bed. Um, under here, under the bus is the 45 gallon gray water tank. Okay. Uh, behind you is the... Uh, uh, composting toilet. No composting. Yep. No, no black tank. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. So, now this uh, cedar armoire, yeah. the wife um, got from one of her friends. Yeah. Yeah, and he, oh, wow. you know, needed some money, so she bought it off of him. Yeah. yeah. So. So I see a couple TVs. 
That's cool. Yeah, got the little one back here. Oh, neat. Whatever, and I got the 32 uh, up front. Yeah. yeah. I upgraded the wife, and I said, well, I'm going to take your TV. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I got yours. that, yep. Very cool, man. Love this dining room, too. It's like how we did use of space in our storage. I used hooks to hang fishing poles. And yeah. So they are out of the way. They don't get ruined. Yep. And they're not taking up any space. I made that little cabinet up here for to put the dishes in. That's awesome, man. You have such a great utilization of space. Yes. It's insane. Like every little thing has a purpose. Purp yeah. Or two. <laughs> yeah, I like the or two. Yeah. Um, and I love the part that the roof is magnetic. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you hang all your stick stuff to the hang all your hats. So good to go. Yeah. So it's that is nice. Very cool. Well, that is such a cool <laughs> deal you got. <laughs> this bus is awesome, man. We appreciate you having us out and showing us the bus. Yeah. And and what we appreciate more is the the fellowship, the brotherhood. We were able to sit down and talk, fellow veteran. Swap stories. Yeah. I love sitting <laughs> down with veterans and talking and swapping stories. I did enjoy it myself. Yeah. It was so cool, man. That we spent fun. what three hours out yeah. here just hanging out yeah. and having a good time and. I know you put off some plans. We appreciate yes, you, thank you sacrificing to be able to, to meet us today. And it was awesome to be able to meet you. We hope that you have a great time out here heading out to all your beach yeah. destinations. Hopefully we'll cross back again. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be really I'll cool. I look forward man. to it, yeah. sure. Yeah, but we really appreciate it, man. Yeah, and, um, and from veteran to veteran, thank you for your service. Thank you, too. Appreciate your service and your sacrifice. Yeah. And not for just you, but for your wife. You know, spouses, are, they, they, they sacrifice, sacrifice and they serve they do. you. So we appreciate yeah. that. And uh, appreciate you letting us uh, put you on, on camera. Put no you problem, on love it. <laughs> Today we are in the Texas State Aquarium. This guy's awesome. Yeah, he's big. That's a big American bald eagle. That's looks cool. like freedom. <laughs> looks like freedom with a little pinch of America. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you can get this close. Normally where we yeah. see eagles, they're in a big enclosure, yeah. but they're always up in the trees far away. You can't get this close to them. This is pretty close. Yeah. So and he's like cool. checking us out. He's cool. He's a cool dude. <laughs> he, the camera doesn't do it justice. He's oh, yeah. huge. Yeah. He's, he's big. Cool. Did we happen to mention that the aquarium is right next door to the, the USS Lexington? Lexington. <laughs> <laughs> They're neighbors. Yeah. So we were just there a couple days ago, but we're able to get some, some different angles on this ship. Yeah. From here, better angles. Better, and yeah. It's we pretty. take some better pictures from out here. Yeah. Um, so around the pier, there's a pier out in the back of the aquarium, and uh, the sun's out now. Yeah. It wasn't out earlier. It was a little <laughs> cool and chilly and overcast, but now the sun's coming out and getting warm. It's getting nice. And so let's go get us a good seat for the bird show. All right. All right. Glad we got here early. The place is packed. gonna be a 
a feeding frenzy. That's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think they're gonna feed stuff and let us watch. Watch them all tear it apart. We'll show you. And then we'll all know what a feeding frenzy is. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Well, what'd you think? It was fun. The aquarium was fun. And uh, was it worth it? Money? I think it's overpriced. It is a little overpriced. Because that's kind of, I mean, we pay a little bit more at the Georgia Aquarium, and that is a phenomenal price. So. Yeah. I would say the only reason that I'm kind of okay with that price is because a lot of it goes toward marine Marines. research and, yeah. and um, like, Marine medicine, they rescue animals. Yeah, they do sea turtle. Get them healed up and back into the wild. So that's cool with me if it's yeah. a little, uh, but it is a little pricey. But I mean, we were here for about three and a half hours. Yeah. Um, it's worth it. It can, you know, you could be in there a lot longer. Yeah. Um, if you just want to sit, sit and like, and watch. I could sit and watch the fish all day. Yeah. Um, cool. We didn't because it's almost dinner time now and we wanted to get through everything. But, um, it's definitely a cool place. It is cool. We had, um, we had an awesome time in Corpus Christi. Yes. It was uh, beautiful. It was. Well, it was about 50-50 weather-wise. Yeah. About 50% of the time it was awesome. And 50% of the time it was like, bleh, like windy. Windy. Last couple of days were really windy. But we had a great time. What was your favorite part of Corpus Christi? Oh, good God. My uh, favorite part? Well, just being by water was, it was, nice. was enough. The sunsets were awesome. Yeah. We sat out and watched a couple of sunsets. And, uh, man, it's just something that's just peaceful and tranquil. Yeah. Calming to the soul. The about. aquarium was fun. So, yeah, the aquarium was fun. We had a lot of fun there. Um, we went to the what, Science and History Museum. That was pretty cool. Little place. Mm -hmm. little, little bit of, uh, you know, if you got extra time, you know. That's cool. It's like one of the little knowns, I think. Yeah. It's not like a big, huge tourist attraction, but it's something no. cool to go to. Yeah, because we've been to really big science centers yeah. before. But, but was... I mean, I, probably for the area, that's a pretty large science yeah. center. I think my favorite part was the Lexington, the, yeah. obviously, um, because of the history that my family has with the Lexington, my dad being stationed yeah. on board back in the 70s. And even if we hadn't had that history, it was just a really cool, cool. ship. Yeah. To, to go through it was a good yeah. good way to, to kill the second half of the day oh and we got to the we got back to our parking space we put we put <laughs> three hours in the meter yeah and they were walking back we're like oh man we're, we're, we're cutting it pretty close so then we were guessing yeah like what the time was gonna be and then what I guess I guess nine minutes was mm -hmm. gonna be left on the meter what'd you guess I said six six we get back one <laughs> minute left on the meter. By the time we got into the truck, started the truck, Sorry. it was flashing red. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. Perfect timing. timing. So three yeah. hours from the time we parked to the time we came back, that's what the time frame was to go see the Lexington. We um, we went to go see uh, Carl. Yeah. From Time Band and RV Travels. <laughs> and got to see his schoolie yeah. that he made over. And this thing's so cool, man. Yeah. It, he named it Paradise. <laughs> so we got to spend the day in paradise. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he was parked right on the water, man. I mean, yeah, that was... his boondocking spot was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, was... you can't get any closer to the water <laughs> without being in the water. <laughs> yeah, I was joking with Drew because I talked to Drew the next day, and because uh, we put the selfie on yeah. Instagram and Facebook. And I told Drew, I was like, when we were standing there in front of the bus taking the selfie, like, we had to be careful not to fall into the water because it's <laughs> right up on this, right up on the water. It was close. Yeah, it was pretty but cool. It was a gorgeous view. Yeah, and what you don't, what you didn't see in the in the previous 
part of this video was that we spent uh, about three hours three with hours Carl yeah just hanging out and he's an army vet army ranger and we just sat and just swapped army and stories, stories yeah. and life stories and um, very interesting guy good dude man it's just um, just one of, one of the reasons that solidifies why we're doing this mm -hmm. you know to be out on the road meeting new and interesting people mm -hmm. and just having fun man yeah you know and we made sure we went to see Carl on a day that we had some extra time and so we yeah. weren't like in and out hey how you doing we're the yeah, wags see you later no rush. you know <laughs> yeah yeah and the really cool part was he let us sign the bus yeah yeah so what i did was i picked the most awkward and hard place to sign mm -hmm. true because <laughs> i knew she was gonna have to sign it too <laughs> It was awkward. So it was up by the up by the cockpit, and it was like up on the ceiling. So we're like upside down, signing upside down, <laughs> and so we signed our names and put the wayward wags. But that was really cool. So mm -hmm. so now our names will forever be immortalized in paradise. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Carl, if you're watching, we appreciate you taking yeah. us on the tour of your schoolie, and we hope to see you guys uh, see you again on our travels because yeah. it was just really cool hanging out with you. And it's warm down here in southern yeah. Texas. So Scout's been out and playing and you know the, the he's been kind of a little ass. <laughs> Every guy has a moment yeah. where they <laughs> act like an ass. <laughs> he's yeah. had his moment this week. <laughs> Scratching around, jumping around, acting crazy. Like Swan diving off the couch. Yeah. Like I don't know. I don't know what it's <laughs> and landed like and it's like, like scorpion. Man, it's like a foot and a half. Yeah. Off the uh, he, off the off the, the armrest of yeah. the couch. Not the not where you sit, off the armrest. He's like <laughs> spider monkey. <laughs> bam on the floor. I'm like, dude, you're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> But then he takes off like it doesn't yeah, phase him. He's gone, man. It doesn't knock him silly. Or so anything. we went to Walmart and I, we totally forgot. But we we're gonna get some of the egg crate. Yeah, the foam, foam just to put down, because the other parts have the have the things he can scale down the side. Yeah. But the armrests don't, and so, so he just we... he just kamikazes off that Joker, yeah. man. But then he would just go right back up, like. Yeah. He just jumped off to go back up. And... But jump it makes him again. mad because he'll he'll <laughs> jump off, he'll hit the floor, and then he'll turn black. <laughs> I'm like, well, you idiot. You're the one that jumped off and smacked your face on the ground. Yard dart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we saw some cool landmarks. Selena is buried yeah. in Corpus Christi, so we got mm -hmm. to see the grave of Selena. If you've been watching us for a while, you know that we like to visit we graves visit cemeteries. and cemeteries, <laughs> and um, which is really cool because when we get over to Houston, they have like a, a, a what is it like a um, some kind of museum on death and yeah, it's the museum of funeral history. Funeral history museum. Yeah. Ha! So we're definitely going to go hit All that All the different one. styles yeah. that have been through centuries. Because that stuff fascinates us and we yeah. show a lot of graves on our on our channel. So that's going to be cool. Yeah. Can't wait to take you with us when we get there to Houston. Yeah, that's, that's going to be, be cool. Fun. And um, we also saw the original um, Whataburger. First Whataburger. Is not there anymore. No. But they built a replica of it next to one of the Whataburgers in Corpus Christi mm -hmm. because Corpus Christi was the the home of the Whataburger. Water, yeah, where Whataburger founded. first founded. And so they have a replica of that. And so that's pretty cool yeah. to see. Because I, I had no idea. I thought it was still going to be like a... Well, you know how you see like the old McDonald's? Yeah. You know, it had like, like kind of long and they got like the old 50s vibe kind of it, drive through like, vibe going on. Yeah. But this was just a little shack. It was like a... Like if you went to Home Depot or Lowe's and yeah, like got a yourself a little shed yeah. with a little peak. Yeah, that's... Just cut yeah. out window. <laughs> and I, I think their menu was like burger, fries, shake. Yeah. That's it, pretty much. The shake was 15 cents. <laughs> now you got what a burger, they got what a chicken, what a salad, what a... What a what the... Hamburgers were 35 cents, I believe, and cheeseburger was 45 cents. Well, yeah, which was probably pretty comparable to what McDonald's and them were doing. It was doing then, yeah. 35, 45 yeah. cents. But well, we did go out to the pier. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the pier? Oh, the Bob Hall Pier. Yeah, the Bob Hall Pier, and that was pretty cool. They have a little restaurant. You sit right there on the pier, mm -hmm. and looking out onto the. Other. I mean, you, you really the water 
is actually hitting up under yeah, you. Under you, yeah. Um, you're actually above above the ocean and looking out at the pier yeah. and the waves. So that was a very cool that was relaxing. and very relaxing lunch. Mm -hmm. So I def definitely recommend, yeah. uh, not if you're staying by the bay like we were, get out by the ocean yeah. and check it out too. But it's fun to just walk next to Up the ocean and, yeah. and um, feel the breeze and chase the seagulls. <laughs> I was chasing the seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. Oh, goodness. Um, but anyway, we had a great time at Corpus Christi. Yeah. We definitely recommend going down there if you've never been. We had never been, mm -mm. and we don't regret going because it was a great time. Yeah. Uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.